up in a rodeo home. My dad rode bulls, and my grandpa was a rodeo cowboy. My, my uncle was Clyde Frost, and cousin, cousins of Lane Frost, and so I guess you'd say the last name of Frost is just a rodeo legacy, and it was one of those things as a kid growing up, all I ever wanted to do was be a bull rider, and I guess it's something you could say it was in my blood. Growing up in the Western lifestyles benefited me a lot just as a person, for one, you know, the cowboy way of life is, you know, firm handshake, stand by your word, being trustworthy, having honor in your name and honor in your family. And, you know, that's that's another thing when I when I get done rodeo and I want people to remember me as a cowboy, not just a bull rider. And my job's the easiest job in the world besides the fact I got to get on a bull. Because at the end of the day, you know, that's that is my job is show up and stay on for eight seconds. And 99% of the time, if I do that part of my job, I get paid. And, the, the year I decided it was full plan to make the NFR was probably definitely 2019. And I think competing at the NFR, I guess I might be the perfect per perfect person to ask that question to because I have made the NFR once and I actually fell off all 10 bulls. And so that's kind of kind of one of those things that I, I got something to prove and I'm getting back there and gonna go ride all 10 this time's the goal. But it's my biggest thing I guess was I didn't really know what to expect. And so it just was kind of a blur. I would say I'm a little superstitious, just this is stupid, but <laughs> at the NFR, I'd, that was my favorite color is green, so I wore green shirts, and it didn't go good, and for now, I still have those green shirts, and I always crack one out, and it seems like whenever I put that stupid green shirt on, I don't ride good, and so I've just been playing it safe, and I try to wear denim everywhere, but the motivation of wanting to get back there and just said my goal now is to win a gold buckle, and that's such a small part of my past that it don't it's not something I worry about because I'm super confident now going in and I've worn more rodeos this year than I've ever worn before just from you know a little different mindset. That's the scenario where I want to perform the best is when the top 15 in the world are there and all the pressure's on and you got to be 93 points to win and if you can learn to let that fuel your fire instead of make you nervous that's kind of a game changer.